Everyone always makes fun of me because I'm very, very, very expressive with my eyebrows. and welcome back to my channel if you guys are new welcome and make sure you guys are subscribing down below so today I'm gonna be talking about how I got my eyebrows microbladed and I have been wanting to get my eyebrows microbladed for so 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 long so the first time I heard about microblading and saw the results of microblading I was like I need that right now so when I was looking for a microblading artist I came across so many people's portfolios and I just like wasn't I wasn't feeling it like the results that people were getting from these certain artists I was like no 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 my good friend who lives here in Madison her cousin got her eyebrows microbladed and she showed me a picture of it and I was like done deal like who did that who, who did those eyebrows? Like, I need them to touch my eyebrows right now. So that is how I found Megan at Mind Floss Tattoo here in Madison, Wisconsin. So I'll insert a few pictures of Megan's work and I was really, really impressed. So I contacted her and we collaborated on this video together. So she kind of took us behind the scenes and we basically filmed the entire process of me getting my eyebrows tattooed and or microbladed. So I will roll that footage for you guys so you guys can see that now. Roll the footage, roll the beat, B-roll. These are my eyebrows before. So I tend to like really do like an exaggerated arch and I love the like little hairs that people have right here. I sadly do not have those. I have like naturally just really thin eyebrows um, and they're kind of light too because I'm naturally a blonde. So um, I'm gonna bring in this eyebrow color so they can match it. So yeah, let's go do that. I'm gonna eat some pasta. Oh, yeah. no, 100%. I literally just rolled out of bed, so I haven't washed my face, haven't cleaned the brows yet, and this is what they look like. So I am just finishing getting ready, and look at them. Did not put anything on them today. It was so weird to not have to do my eyebrows, because my eyebrows typically take the longest out of anything I do makeup wise so it was really cool to just be able to wake up with fabulous brows and like literally I it's whoa <laughs> so it's an update on what they're looking like if you guys if I can zoom you in you can see the little teeny strokes which is so cool so basically a little bit about the process I went in and the appointment took about two two and a half hours um, took a little bit longer than the average appointment just because we were talking so much and we were filming so we were setting up certain shots 
you know some people have an idea of like what kind of shaped eyebrows they like i always painted on my painted on my i always like drew on my eyebrows with makeup so what megan did was she did a swatch of my product on her hand and then she started swatching all these different pigments um it's not ink it's actually pigment that's going into your eyebrows so um so she was kind of mixing up these pigments and getting the right color and we both agreed on this sort of taupey grayish tone color because i because I always like a cool toned eyebrow. So after that, what she did was put this sticker on my forehead, which looked beautiful. So we just stuck the sticker on and this gave her a bunch of measurements. So basically, if you guys know the list of measurements on how, you know, from your pupil to the arch, there's all these different measurements and she did all of those things on me and with a marker, she sort of mocked up these eyebrows and kind of kept with what I was doing when I was filling in my own eyebrows. So I like a high arch, I really like the little um, hairs in the middle here and she was like oh we can totally do that and um my tail on this eyebrow was like really really non-existent i don't know why and then i have a scar under this eyebrow a lot of people asked about the pain i've had nine tattoos and this was sort of in between it definitely did not feel like a tattoo at all i think the worst part about it was the sound um it definitely made like a really loud sort of scratching sound Um, some parts were a little bit more painful than others. Um, definitely the tails weren't bad at all, but when you started to get right in here and like right in here, that was really, really sensitive for me. Um, but the tails were totally fine. I like wasn't affected by that. Um, the right eyebrow hurt a little bit more, but the left eyebrow right in here was really sensitive. So kind of touchy. I feel like it just depends on where your nerve endings are in your face and what's more sensitive to you. But it definitely did not feel like a tattoo, but the process wasn't super, super long. So we stopped multiple times throughout the process and she made me hold up a mirror to check out how the brows were doing. And she was like, okay, like tell me if there's certain hairs that you want and like all this stuff. So it was a very hands-on thing. It wasn't like she just drew them on and just like did it, you know, she kept stopping and made sure that I was comfortable. Felt really included in the process because like, I'm a very DIY, like hands-on person. That's like why I do my own hair, like all that stuff, like I can't let go. So after the microblading was done, basically what she did was she kind of cleaned up the area and then she took leftover pigment and kind of rubbed it in the hair, in the little scratches. Um, and basically what that does is it just solidifies the pigment in there. So I'll show you guys what my brows look like. So afterward, for the first day and a half, you have to clean them with a little bit of non-scented soap and water. So it's not like a tattoo where you're using Aquaphor and A and D and all that type of stuff. Um, you really wanna keep this dry. After the two days, well, first things first, you wake up in complete shock because you're like, what the hell? I just woke up with fabulous brows. I don't have to, I swear to God, has cut down my, my routine by like at least 15 minutes. Like I never thought like how long I spent on my eyebrows every day, but like it's a while. Like now I can't even imagine not having my eyebrows microbladed. Microblading lasts between one to three years. After the first year, it does tend to um, kind of get a little bit lighter. So that's when you can go in for another touch up if you please, um, just to darken them a little bit. And then after three years, it has completely gone away. So it's not like a tattoo where it is permanent. Um, so a lot of people are like, oh, like what if eyebrow trends change? You can still wear makeup on your brows, you know, if you feel like doing a wiggle brow, because we all know that's really in right now, you have the opportunity to. So you can get a touch up four weeks after getting your first appointment done. So I'm going to be scheduling my appointment again to just do a little touch up on the tails, probably a little bit defining that arch just a little bit more. Um, overall, I'm extremely pleased with my eyebrows. I think they look awesome. Awesome. I'm so happy with them words cannot describe just like how satisfying it is to like not have to touch your brows it's like wow 
this is awesome. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Megan and Mindfloss Tattoo for collaborating with me on this video. I love my new brows. So if you guys have any questions for me about microblading, just leave them in the comments down below and I will try to answer them. I will also link Mindfloss's website, Instagram, and Megan's Instagram down below in the description box. So thank you guys so much for watching.